This is going to be an unboxing and first impressions video of the Eberly Stock Bando Standard and XL. They were kind enough to send me these bags for review. But before I dive into the actual review of these bags, I just want to do an unboxing and a first impressions, because why not? I'm going to be using the Zahn, the Zahnmon by CRK. Oh, missed that one. There we go. Slicer. So this is the Bando bag black. I got both in black. I think this is the standard. Hmm. I believe this is the standard. Yeah, it doesn't state XL on here anywhere, but this is the standard. They say that a Glock 19 fits in here perfectly. We'll see. I don't know. We'll be the we'll be the judge of that. But you have a front pocket small little quick access pocket there in the front not so big it actually doesn't go all the way to the whole spread of the bag it's just a small little compartment there and then there's another section there's a keeper right there for this zipper that's cool these pull tabs on the bando is fairly nice i gotta say and there's that pull tab there where you have access to the middle compartment you got two main pockets right here in the front and then you have a mesh zippered pocket right here in the back. Open that up, boom. And then this is an elastic where you can put a spare mag or a tourniquet, which I see a lot of people do. That does go all the way and spread into the whole size of the bag itself. And then you have your quick access firearm. Draw. That right there has a whole Velcro backing. This is, a, I suppose, it's supposed to be for your firearm. But I don't know how this is really going to guard my trigger, but let me show you guys how it looks like with the holster that came with my QAPL inside of here. Okay, so this has been safety checked. Just wanna let you guys know there's nothing in there, no magazine either. And this is the holster that came with my QAPL by 945 Industries. Goes right in there. Let's see how this fits. Okay, so this is how it looks like with the 43X MOS inside of the Bando bag. So let me close this up. Boom, and boom. Nice. So it closes up fairly nice. No problems, no issues at all. And open it like such. And then boom, you have access to your firearm. Now already, I, I know this is gonna be a qualm of mine. It is because I've been using the QAPL and I love the quick access pull tab. It's just super easy for me to rip that open, grab my firearm and go. There's no quick access tab here. And the quick access tab would typically be up here. They don't have that in the standard or the XL. So that's what kind of kept me away from actually purchasing this bag on my own. But who knows, everything is based off of training and I wanna give it some reps to actually give it a chance and see how my draw is naturally. But that pull tab I feel would have been money. So they have these little uh, tabs here at the bottom of the Velcro section. And maybe if I create something makeshift where I tether a lanyard that goes from this tab to seep out right here in the top corner where I typically have it on my QAPL. Maybe I could use it to, boom, get access to pull it open like such to get just enough to expose the firearm to have me go, boom, and do my business. So we'll see, I'll mess with it and see how that works. But that is the Bando Bag Standard. Now let's check out the XL. So this right here is the XL. I'm gonna use the slicer shark to open this one up. XL, yeah, definitely bigger than the, but it looks so much bigger in review videos. Like, I don't know if the people reviewing them are just like, you know, small to medium sized guys, but they look very big on them compared to how it looks like in my hands. I mean, this doesn't look so big. Like this is a lot smaller than the Data Crew Snack Time Sling. So if you guys are trying to figure out size wise, it's just a little larger, like a little larger visually than my QAPL, but very slight. From the standard to the XL, you do tell the difference. 
in the size, but the XL itself is not so big. Same thing, I mean, nothing's really changed in terms of compartments with the XL. You have the front compartment. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, so they're both kind of olive lined. I like that. Anything high vis, great for my eyes. I have that there. And then I have a middle compartment here. Same access pockets, mesh back elastic lining up here that is similar to the standard. And then you have much bigger section in the back for your firearm where you can put a full size pistol. Same qualm that I have, no rapid access pull tabs or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to find a way to make shift that. I think I have ideas on how I can do it. But yeah, this is the unboxing of the Everly Stock Bando bags in standard and XL. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Mike Messina with Mike Daily Carry. Catch you guys on the next one.